radar, man. I was like, what? Okay, who is this dude? Uh, this is Apeit, man. He's the Rob oh, from... Yeah, dude. Dude, this guy's actually pretty good. Yeah, I know. I know he's that's good. Why, that's why I want to come This guy's this. really good. Yeah, See, dude. I've never seen him play offline before, and I used to play with Apeit, man, like two, three years ago on Wi-Fi, like 24-7. Yeah. No, like, he's mad good. He's so good. Yeah, he like, looks like... He like, looks now like he's, he's gotten so close to beating me that I'm scared of playing him. Oh, I got a match. No. Oh, I, I love you. Alright, I love um, you dude, well, but bye, I'll, be, I'll be back, I'll be back. Bye guys. Oh god. Please. Enjoy this. I'm gonna get a good commentator. Got SP. The best Sonic in the world. Best Sonic? No, that's true blue. <laughs> You're the worst Sonic? Oh, okay. We are joined by SP now, because Illmatic has to go play a match. Yeah. So, we have this hype mid-tier match going on of Aphid Man and Vinny. Probably gonna be... Rob versus Peach. Or Peach? Game and Watch, because Game and Watch is mid here. Oh, that's right. I don't understand Stupid. the Game and Watch thing. But I don't understand. My day to day is currently on the mid tier list. Yeah. It's it's a thing. Let's see, uh, Let's see how this goes. Of course, I will not be that biased, but I want to man to win. My boy. Just Smashville. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Smashville. Always just Smashville, but oh, it's okay. Oh, he's going Rob did a. Alright, yeah, because Vinny beat Aphid Man earlier in a Rob Ditto money match. Really? Er, this morning when we, when we got up. Nice. Rocking the ocean tag. Let's see how this goes. I've never actually seen Aphid play. Um, so it is going to be interesting for me. Like, like, is he more, aggr which seems more aggressive than Vinny or vice versa? Um, well, this is well, a really good start. Vinny was really scared. Aphid Man is the best Rob. Uh, but yeah, Aphid Man, it depends on the matchup. Um, he's a really, he's really good at being campy, and his play style is really good. He's super flashy too. He's such a technical player with Rob. Like I don't know how he makes Rob move as fast as he does. It's kind of like Ike with uh, Rio with Ike. Yeah, the way I, like it's the real the way he runs. Like it's just very smooth. Yeah, there's very Aphid little pull down on his. Move. Yeah, and Aphid Man's Rob is so smooth. He. Chivo, it's true. I'm sorry. His Rob is really smooth. He's super legit. Like, half the stuff he does, I don't know how he does it. Like, I, I try to pick Rob to see how to do anything, and I can barely jump with Rob. Like, that. <laughs> I, I have trouble too. But anyway, back to the match. Um, Aphid has a very demanding lead right now. Yeah, like, Vinny running out of juice stock one kind of hurts, but uh, Vinny is, you know, a very good player. Up. So He's definitely uh, using that uh, top level player muscle right now. Pull ahead. We're not pull ahead, but like. Yeah, I think up. Gyro is one of the most, if not the most broken projectile in the game. It's so good. His shield disappears and you respawn it instantly. Immediately. Like, no one can pick it up because they don't know how to pick up, like, metal, I guess. <laughs> like, it's ridiculous. I always get confused because the, the hitbox on it is disorienting sometimes. Like, you feel like you're gonna grab it and it just. And then you, like, wind up jamming it and then you trade with it. You're like, what the? Go away. Like, why? like that. You try to pick it up and he jabs it and he trades yeah, it. And then if he jabs it trades, it makes you waste time and the other Rob gets to... Uh, uh, yeah, good back here by Vinny. The other Rob gets to uh, capitalize on the situation, so... Yeah. This Ape is still with the lead, but Vinny's quickly closing in. There's a... Uh, yeah, he's definitely showing his uh, knowledge of Rob in general. I don't know if the Rob ditto, but you know, he has Chibo in his region, so he has someone to look up to when he plays Rob. I, I had no idea they were in the same region. <laughs> yeah, well, it's close enough. Chibo streams everything, so he's always around. Shout out to Chibo for coming down and do this. Yeah, I don't know Appreciate how he gets it. everywhere all the time. But I'm pretty sure they're just close to Chibo. And this match is getting really close. Yeah. Ape Man needs to get a kill. Like, Ape Man starting to. Uh, Prioritize just being like campy and keeping his distance away. Like, uh, because Vinny is really starting to punish him constantly, consecutively for uh, close range combat. He's yeah. Earlier they talked about the matchup after they had their money match this morning, mm -hmm. and they determined that whoever gets first stock should always win because Rob can out can like just camp Rob so hard that Rob really can't do much about it. But Vinny is showing that he has found a way to get around it. I guess. Yeah, he just. He's been really efficient. His spacing is actually really superb right now. Um, that forward, that forward tilt, for example. Yeah, yeah Rob's uh, forward tilt is such a good move. It is. But, uh, he's just. 
Nice snap. Push him back, kill. Oh, Gyro. What is he looking like Chibo out there? Sticking to the edge. <laughs> Sliding with the Gyro. <laughs> and, ooh, good DI. I thought that was death right there. Yeah, Rob is. I, I, I'm not sure about others, but Rob to me always felt kind of like, deceptively heavy. I know yeah. he's a really big character, but he like just the floating is it's kind of like Samus in uh, in the game too. She's really heavy, but she's just extremely floaty. Yeah, I, I feel you. It's the same kind of thing with Rob, I imagine. Yeah, you always think Rob's gonna die, and he doesn't. It's like, dude, come on now, get out. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and after the the SD by yeah. Vinny, you know this is. Looking to be a really good match. Vinny has the lead. It's also kind of telling for the later matches. If uh, Vinny suicides and is, is pulling ahead now, like it, it doesn't go for a Bitman in the next set, the next game. You have to really consider what match, what stage to take him to. Yeah, to get the advantage. He just, I, I feel like if he closes it out, he'll have enough confidence and he'll be happy enough that, you know, it won't get to him. Yeah. Like Morale's a big deal too. Yeah, because he's like, he's pretty emotional in a way that like. His emotions fuel him. So, like, if you see him doing the match, like, uh, maybe yelling at himself or just like saying whatever, and he gets loud, that's to help him concentrate. Like, it's really strange. But like before, I was I used to think he would just get mad, and I was like, Dude, calm down. He's like, no, 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 that's what I do when I play. He, 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 he feeds off his own energy. What the heck was that? I've never seen. I'm sorry. I've never seen that before. Oh, that was very pretty. I didn't know Rob could even do that. Right? That's what I'm saying. Like, that was really fast. Anyway, I apologize for that. That's fine. Um, yeah, he feeds off his own energy, basically. Yeah, it's it's really interesting. I like it. Yeah, props to those players who do that. I mean, if Pulled everyone, if, if no one like did that, it'd be a really quiet, really boring tournaments all the time. Yeah, like I, I, love, I appreciate diversity. Yeah, like for me, I'm not one to show emotions during a game. I tend to do that for after the game. But you know, I love anyone who shows emotion about the game. That shows passion and dedication. And that's what we need. That's what we're here for. And you won't find many, you you won't find many people more devoted to the, this game than mid tier players, in my opinion. A lot of mid tier players really go all out to just try to you know. Yeah, it's the like they know them. they're meeting yeah. a character that might be holding them back, but they don't care. It's a mid tier pride. I think character pride in general, like even even Meta Knight names. Oh like, yeah, there's there's pride there too. Yeah, Definitely. like you know they love their character. They can easily just you know pick other. Lame characters like Ice Climbers or Olimar, and <laughs> see how that go up throw. And wow. that's game one. That was a really close one. Yeah, that was. Any bets on where uh, he will take Vinny? Um, Battlefield or Pokemon Stadium? Since PS1 is like Florida's counterpick. Oh, yeah? <laughs> we love that stage. Um, I don't know if they'll take advantage of the logo stages. Maybe Delfino. Yeah, you don't need has. Sure. No, maybe Friggin. If it's a, if it's any uh, logo stage, it's Friggin. He loves Friggin. Yeah, when before Wobo started, I made sure to look at the stage list because I forgot that what Unity rule set was and Grinstar, uh, Rainbow Cruise, Pokemon Stadium 2. They're all legal here. Yeah, it's crazy. So I have I have yet to see a PS2, but I guarantee in mid tiers, if I'm not playing a heavy character, I'm gonna pick it. I love PS2. So does Shrubu. I guess it's a Sonic thing. It might be a Sonic thing. <laughs> he was so excited about it. He was like, oh my god, I get to play on PS2. It's a fun I stage. Go, dude, I go, dude, I know how you feel. I, ha I feel like that when I play on PS1. And I didn't know until like an hour ago, PS1 is a starter. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> go for it. But yeah, PS1 is a neutral, it's a starter. Mm -hmm. I am so excited about that. You I'm know how everyone likes to go Smash Bros. Game 1? No, I'm going to propose to go to PS1. Sometimes I do that. Like in certain characters, like Olimar or Ice Climbers, I'm like, no, 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 I want to stay straight. Right. I want to take you to somewhere where you're completely comfortable. Right, I'm definitely going to try to go to Game 1, PS1 all day, every day. <laughs> like, I love it. Hey, Bit's still thinking about his counterpick out there. Yeah, it's probably it's because tough. he's debating between Frigate, honestly. It's tough too because I mean it's a oh, ditto. Halbert. Yeah, he loves Halbert too. I, interesting choice. It's, it's a tough choice because it's, it's a ditto. So I mean. Yeah, and he has he has way too many stages that he loves like this one, Frigate, uh, Battlefield. Yeah, so pick. Uh, like he likes a lot of stages. So it's like it's like choosing your, uh, what child you love more. Pretty much. Typically, always the first one, or maybe the one that just requires the least amount of money. 
Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. Anyway, uh, well, it, it's getting a, a good stretch in his lead real quick. Uh, yeah. He composed himself after taking a little, you know, two, three minute break there. Oh yeah, that, that's also something I think a lot of players don't really take into consideration. Yeah, they but always like, rush into the counter pick and rush into the next game because I don't know why. <laughs> Sometimes it helps to just sit back and take a few breathers and realize yeah. what you did wrong in that game and then adapt to it the next game. The next game. Yeah, it's a, it's a fault that I have too. I mean, a lot of times I feel I like I should take a breath in between and just like kind of like like ice on my opponent, you know, freeze their momentum a bit. Mm -hmm. But, you know, you have all that adrenaline that you're just, you just like, and so, Sometimes play. you're also in the heat of the moment. I, I made that mistake a lot too, trust me. Yeah. Like, it's it's something that happens and it's just, uh, being able to take a breather is a sign of a, of a good competitor because it shows that you have that patience that to understand, like, break down your, your performance oh. and see how you can improve it. And this match is super close. Yeah, just about dead almost even. dead even, yes. Enough smash from either character will close out the stock with this low ceiling. What percent would you uh, guess of up throw with KO at? Up throw, not until like 160 maybe. Well, Abit's quickly getting uh, Vinny to that uh, level, so that was very so good capitalize on it. Yeah, I, I see what you mean by the way. Abit has not stopped moving since <laughs> right? off like, the level. It's he crazy. was consistently moving, and that was very beautiful. Like as a as a Sonic main, I love movement. Right. So like, seeing 8-Bit do that was magic. Yeah, it's crazy. Like, like I said, I don't understand how he does all of that. He's so good. Uh, yeah, nice man. Nice revenge kill. Yeah, like, he's so good at just like, like controlling his character, and he knows exactly how far it will go all the time, what's safe, what's not safe. Like, it's crazy. It's ridiculous. Some of those guys who just broke down his character to an actual science. Like, oh it's yeah. A study. I appreciate those players because they blow my mind and I love that feeling. Yeah, like, it's not like he even likes Rob. Like, oh, oh the waffle wow. with cheese, as we call it in Florida. <laughs> <laughs> I like I, that. I guarantee you he'll get a chuckle out of that. I like that. Yeah, he been almost got a quick cheese kill on him. With the, with he's, the trying to get the, he's trying to get the deluxe. The deluxe is like a light sauce. It's an up smash. Oh, yeah. It's a really nice lead right now. Oh yeah, Vinny's gonna have to put in a lot of work to try to uh, close the gap. Yeah, that forward throw is so fast. The range is so big. Apit's also been really good at landing those lasers. Just as I say that, he misses one. But um, <laughs> for the most part, like whenever he has, uh, oh my goodness, <laughs> the 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 spot dodges. <laughs> oh man, whenever I see that, I like, my heart freezes. Right? It's so scary. Yo, this stage does not like Vinny. It has targeted him every single time. They've been noticing this. <laughs> Look at that, they're just firing lasers back and forth. I think yeah, it's as every, you said, he's, a, he's just a sniper. Is he, it like every two or three seconds it has a full, like almost pretty much full range of a level? Yeah. So, so, I mean, every two seconds you just hit B and see if you hit him. It's not that much damage, but I mean, it's, it's annoying and it can easily frustrate a player. If you yeah, it like makes you want to go in. Like, I mean, just look at Falco, Fox, Olimar. They can easily make people go into them just because of their projectile. Yeah, because ship damage. Any amount of damage is good damage. Exactly. And and they're going to die eventually. And they've been doing a spectacular job of just constantly peppering his money with Oh, forward throw. Reading the, I, reading the mash. <laughs> I did not expect it to kill. I mean, Vinny, with that, uh, Vinny was super duper mashing. That, uh, yeah, the DI yeah, was no. questionable. Oh, is he going to run out of juice? No, he's going to run out of juice. Yeah, he's a bit also fishing for the up, up air a lot when, when Vinny comes back. Yeah. I, I understand it does quite a lot of damage. I never actually knew the number though. It does, I think, 21. 21 full? Yeah. That's And hefty. it's not the easiest move to SDI. Yeah. That's that's definitely hefty. That's <laughs> so good. It's a snake forward so, tilt. That's very good. It is. Yeah, Avid Man has almost complete control of this match. You, you could tell just by their playstyles, Avid is very comfortable here. And then he's oh yeah, not he's definitely not on the same stage. level. The fact that he can shark with Rob here, like that's one of the big reasons why he loves it. Yo, the onion ring. <laughs> the onion ring. Yeah, <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Makes me hungry though. Yeah, Avid Man is always hungry. He's very hungry for this win right now. Oh, nice there. Good oh. DI, holy wow. Delicious. <laughs> That's <laughs> some MVDI over there. God, Brett. Nice throw, nice grab. Yeah, he has just chipped away on this stock. Not yet, not yet. A Nair in almost the same exact position, and Vinny almost dies a full 25% earlier. These lasers are very quickly putting Vinny in the danger zone for KO. Oh, yeah. 
just look at the space on him there now. Like, it's crazy. It's fantastic. And then again, the level is just completely turning on him. Good. What? That was fantastic. I think it was because he was below the level too. That like because he was below the level, he had far more more distance to travel. Yeah, but but still, he was at 172 when he got hit by that. By no means should he really be a lot. Oh, there he goes. There we go. Tough throw. Suplex. I love how these matches are so intense, but look how deep into it we are. We're two minutes away from the you know the eight minute mark, and it doesn't seem like it's been that long. Yeah. Eight bit just needs a up throw, and he, it's it's done. Yeah, up he, throw, he just needs to play nair. safe. He just keep doing what he's doing. Like up throw nair. I think even Forza would kill Vinny if he didn't di it properly. And just look at the pressure. Like Rob can't. Rob struggles to recover against Rob. <laughs> yeah. He can't air dodge the oh, up. Good air. Yeah. Yeah. Nick. Yes. Yes. Florida is definitely yes. taking the and, and the Florida yes chant with absolutely no Floridians in the chant. <laughs> <laughs> I, I missed that chant. Uh, last time I heard it was last Wobo. Oh, I love it. I love that chant. Um, Rainbow. Vinny Cruz. Vinny Here we yes. go. Yes. Game three. Eighth man versus Vinny. Immediately going to. Oh, was that a mistake? And they both suicide. They're very. They're top level players right now, ladies and gentlemen. They are just SDing. They're gone. Fantastic. Let's see this controller in my car. Yeah, that was super clutch for Ape Man. Just the way he, just the way he played. They were even at one point, and Ape Man stayed around 30 to 40 percent of where, when they were even. Yeah, and then eventually, just Ape Man took the lead. It, by, it was. The lasers. I think that's the, my favorite part of that match. The lasers were just spot on most yeah, of the time. Like, he, he's Constantly. Sniper. He knows where to put them. He knows how they bounce on every, uh, everywhere. He just knows. I, I kind of them. wish that we could have like a laser, uh, laser counter. Just see how many, <laughs> yeah. see how many lasers Eight Bit Man landed in that one game. Because a that lot. was it's at least like fifty. That had to have been at least hundred plus damage, something along those lines. Crazy. Like he's so important. Then he's a sniper. I really hope he wins too, because that'll, that'll be a big win for him. Even though it's just you know fighting Vinny as a mid tier, it's, but still, it's still fighting Vinny. It's still Vinny. And the thing is, like Ice Climbers and Rob, I think Ape Man would do very well against Vinny if he went if this was an actual you know regular tournament set, because he's beaten E Sam's Ice Climbers before. Oh really? So, yeah. Wow. He's beaten, he beat his Pikachu before too. Like he forced them off Pikachu to Ice Climbers. Wow. And, like he knows that matchup. That's very. This is just impressive. Man. Yeah, Ape Man, he's so good. Like I'm so happy that he can finally travel out. I'm actually. I kind of want to play him. You it should. Like, I hope. I hope I play him. I, all I gotta do is not lose. <laughs> or you guys could like you know have an exhibition match or some money match. Something like that. Some yeah, like I, I my mid tier is worse than yours match. Like. <laughs> <laughs> I like how he used a, a ship right there to keep his uh, back air in centered so that Vinny had no way to avoid it. Yeah. That back air is also kind of deceptive, just the hitbox on it. That hitbox is ridiculous. It hits, I think, up until like Rock Rob's neck. It's really big. And it's it's very strong, too. Main team pull of the match right now. Alright, good recovery. There goes that laser. laser does, like, some of the lasers are really shielding, but I mean, he's still hitting the shield of the lasers. It's, yeah, good there. Vinny oh. almost lost his stock uh, for the cheese curl right there. <laughs> I love Rainbow Cruise. Me too. Oh! oh. I, I th I'm pretty sure Ape thought he wasn't going to die from that. I don't know if positive that he didn't expect that. Yeah, that's probably because the stage was moving as well. The, and the he blast slightly zone. missed the eye it. The blast zone probably just swallowed him up. Hard. Yeah. It's unfortunate, it's unfortunate, but you know, it happens. What's important is how he... Whoa, 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 get out of here. What was that? That was pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> I, like, coasted across the half the half the level. Yo, he, he's straight up running for his life right now. Uh, Vinny, Vinny has a lot of control right now. Yeah. Oh, boy. There's no text, no nothing in sight. Oh, boy. He took... How much damage was that? 80 damage? A lot of damage. Ape Man needs to... I don't know. He needs to clutch it out like he did last kill. match. Like he needs to, aside from get the kill, obviously, you know, just chip away after he gets that kill. If and when he does, he needs it soon. Don't get hit and kill people. Oh, <laughs> the, the best advice. The best advice ever. Oh, I knew he wanted the Whopper and cheese right there. Feels like right now that Vinny is just a 
he's in his. It feels. It feels like he's in his head right now. Yeah. He just. Vinny's not falling for much of the pressure that uh, Ape was applying last game. So yeah, it's also it's because he's not losing. So yeah, since they're they're both aware that you know once Vinny took the first stock, it was gonna be hard, and the camping is very strong, and Vinny has you know just a lot of stock lead. It's gonna be really difficult from this point on. And this is Vinny's favorite stage, so. Oh yeah. Round three. Oh. Oh, this is bad. If it's at, uh, at a staggering three stock deficit right now, or two stock deficit, really. He needs to be careful. He's about to run out of juice. Oh my goodness. Okay, he landed. He has the juice back. Oh, thank goodness. That would have been a very disappointing way to end. Yeah, that up there. He has four minutes to try to bring this back. It's it's a steep hill to climb. Yeah, definitely. All right, one stock down, one stock at a time. Baby steps. Every hit counts. Ooh, Vinny needs to be Vinny's careful. pressure is very extreme. <laughs> What's extremely high on the ledge right there? Yeah, oh, he has goodness. to be careful though, because if he gets back thrown and dies at 10%, oh, that's it. There it is, the back to back here. No! No! Vinny takes the set. Yeah, that was a very good set. Well played by both players. How long did we have the venue for? Yeah. Uh, I think until like midnight, if I'm not mistaken. Nice. Esco, Miko, slides 